السلام علیکم سسرے کل نمستے ایوریون ای ہوپ یو ار ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو سٹارٹ دا چپٹر نمبر فائیو آف سی سویپ تھری پوائنٹ ون نیمڈ ایز نان ڈسٹرکٹیو ٹیسٹنگ ان اور پریویس چپٹر وی سٹڈیز دا ڈسٹرکٹیو ٹیسٹنگ وچ نیڈز ٹو بی ڈسٹرائی کٹ ڈاؤن دا سپیسیمن اور اینی ویلڈنگ فار دا سیک آف انسپیکشن Here you can see non-destructive. It means there is no need to cut or destroy or damage any specimen for inspection of welding. But we have different techniques which used for the non-destruction means on, uh, without any effect of the material or the specimen. Those techniques are called non-destructive testing means where the no uh, eruptions or fracture or the damage or the cutting down or the hammering of the um, any part without these things we have non destructive testing we have different kinds of method is these testing are known as ndt test and ndt method is we have um, pt uh, penetrant testing or it's also called dpt we have mt magnetic testing or mpi we have ut ultrasonic testing and we have rt radiographic testing we will see one by one and we will only select those specific and important points which are related to c sweep 3.1 exam please uh, make sure the pencil and the paper is in your hand i will not teach you everything which are extra i just gave you overview and concept of anything then i will focus on the specific points related to our paper okay let's start we have four basic type of ndt method magnetic testing die penetrant radiographic inspection and ut one by one we will study it first of all we have um die penetrant testing here you mentioned only <clears throat> die penetrant testing is only for surface crack detection this is important point in paper he will ask which method is good for surface crack detection or surface detection then liquid penetration or die penetration is the right answer if he mention Uh, which method is used for subsurface detection subsurface means surface means uh, let me explain what is surface and what is subsurface as we have two plates these are welded together okay here we have welded if any crack or any defect which is on the surface okay are little below the surface but it should be continue without any uh, discontinuity then we have dpt good method if we have a problem or any defect under the surface up to 3 mm remember up to 3 mm under the surface this is called subsurface then we used normally mt magnetic testing or magnetic particle inspection okay two points surface defect for dpi or uh, lp or dpt and subsurface up to 3 mm we have mt magnetic testing then we have volumetric inspection means the area is large we used ultrasonic testing ut for giant and big areas we normally use ut for rt we use uh, uh, i will also explain where we use ut where we use rt but please keep in your mind the one difference which is most important by considering the c sweep ut is only for planar defects okay planar defects what what are the planar defects please also write in the comments the how many types of planar defects and who which types you know normally the planar defects are cracks lack of penetration lack of fission like these and non planar defects we have those defects which have specific area which have specific volume means length width height like slag inclusion 
it has area like uh, other defect you will have to mention in the comment which are the planar defect which are the non planar defect so by exam point of view ut is good for planar defects and rt is good for non planar defect remember this difference and this will be a must question okay let's see what is penetrating uh, penetrant testing as I mentioned, penetrant testing is only for surface breaking defects only and its work on capillary action. You know what is capillary action? Capillary action is like uh, if this is the uh, welding, okay. If there is defect here, we applied the penetrant here. Penetrant is like a red ink type and chemical penetrant penetrate inside the defect then we clean the surface then we apply the developer okay white contrast developer the developer actually mix with the penetrant which are already penetrated in the defect because of less density this penetrant came outside automatically red type i will show you in coming picture red penetrant came outside on the surface then it's called this action is known as actually capillary action means to extract from surface and show on the to extract from subsurface and show on the surface this is called capillary action i will i would like to give you example if you see the injection when the injection they extract the water from they, in, uh, they extract the injection from any bottle towards the injection this is also known as capillary reaction somehow different types of applicants uh, uh, normally used it should be non-porous i am going to give you overview and the main things which are related to uh, paper and exam point of view so don't worry at all you don't need to remember all these things this stuff is useless you just get the focus and also make sure you have subscribed my channel if you are still not and uh, definitely this channel will give you a lot uh, beneficial things because everything here is free of cost so he just gave you penetrant types different times water washable with water only solvent where solvent use water washable fluorescent fluorescent is the type of light solvent removal fluorescent post emulsifier fluorescent you don't need to remember these things just make sure that this is different kinds of uh, penetrant which we used here for the penetration to see the results of defects okay now you can see the steps of penetrating pre-cleaning here you can see this is the welding here we have the defect with naked eye you can see but in actual we can't see very minor when we apply the penetrant here you can see this is penetrating inside of the defect okay once this is pre-cleaning and in, in, in the paper he can say pre-cleaning which step is the first step in dye penetrant testing DPA pre-cleaning is the first step okay the penetrant is used to penetrate the things here you can he, in paper he can see what is dwell time dwell time is actually uh, the 15 to 20 minute normally but what is dwell time once we apply the penetrant then we wait for 15 to 20 minutes okay until all the penetrant penetrates inside of the defect this time duration or wait is called dwell time okay means uh, the question should be like this uh, the penetrant time to penetrate in the defect properly is known as dwell time okay and this dwell time is around 15 to 20 minutes okay after the dwell time we need to clean the surface with the uh, water or uh, the different we have the thinner etc once we clean the surface with the properly then we apply the developer this is called developer white color developer you can see after the developer applying in this picture uh, the inside penetrant come outside outside to show the properly this is called capillary action okay in this picture you can see the small dots this is after applying the developer 
you can see the result uh, the red color result red is a penetrant come outside with the help of Kepler reaction so in the exam he can also said uh, which thing is used for uh, seeing the result or taking the penetrant outside for the sake of inspection so developer or development these are the four steps where you can easily apply for the type penetrant testing the advantages are very simple inexpensive quick results can be used in any porous metal portably anywhere you can see low operator scale but disadvantages are surface breaking defects only as i mentioned in the start this is only for surface breaking this is an important point remember this is surface breaking only okay little indication in the depth we can't estimate how much the depth penetrant may be contaminated components surface preparation post cleaning also requires hazardous chemical etc this is a disadvantage you don't need to memorize everything just keep in your mind then we have advantages to disadvantages by considering the dpi dye penetrant inspection and magnetic particle uh, the benefits of dpi when we consider the magnetic particle are easy to interpret the results means it's easy to get the results and interpret it no power required without power but mp also required power somehow without power as well relatively little training mp need more training this need little training can use all on the all the material this is also ferrous or not non-ferrous means magnetic or non-magnetic any kind of material it means magnetic means the material which magnetized with the magnetic the magnetic material and non-magnetic which not magnetized like uh, steel cannot be magnetized it means that on steel we cannot perform the magnetic particle inspection this is also a main point by considering the exam um, non-magnetic material or steel can be which the question could be like this which method is used uh, on the steel which inspection method could be used or entity method could be used on the steel structure mpi dpt none of these both of these like this so on steel mpi cannot possible because it is only possible on the magnetic material right then we will uh, result our answer will be dpi because dpi can be applied for all materials disadvantages of dpi when compared to mpi good surface finish needed because after that we need to clean relatively slow method because dwell time we have 15 to 20 minutes etc so this is a bit slow method chemical health and safety issue as well okay the next one is magnetic particle testing okay <clears throat> for the magnetic particle inspection as i already mentioned this is slightly subsurface means up to 3 mm this can be detected relies on magnetism only magnetization of the component being tested it should be magnetized only ferromagnetic material already mentioned ferromagnetic like mild, mild steel ms and uh, cast iron etc magnetic field is introduced into specimen being tested magnetic field means plus minus we have two types of yoke plus and minus so a magnetic field are generated for this method method applying only for magnetic field yoke okay yoke what is yoke yoke are somehow this kind of the steel bodies which are magnetized with the positive and negative i will explain you in just a moment please permanent magnetic prods and flexible cables etc fine particles and iron powder we use the iron powder for testing area because when we apply the yokes the positive and negative field generated it means that electromagnetism generated what electromagnetism once the electromagnetism generated means like a current you can say or the magnetic field generated okay once the magnetic field generated then we apply the iron powder iron powder attracts the magnetic field this is the main concept of mpi after um, generating the magnetic field magnetic field attracts the iron powder where it attracts uh, means if it here we have the crack the discontinuity 
then magnetic field generate here more once it generated more then the iron powder will come around this means thick layer of the iron powder then we will got the inspection and results okay here are the any kind of defects or something like that. this is the concept of MPI totally no problem at all any defect which interpret the magnetic field any defect will show either dark or indication okay this is no problem at all not worry only remember up to three millimeters tested and ferromagnetic for ferromagnetic you can see here yeah you can see here the collection of iron particles due to leakage because here is the crack and once we apply the yoke like this then all the particles come here then we uh, estimated okay here are the defects this is the major concept of MPI and this electromagnetic are connected with the electricity it could also be connected with the electricity or it could be a permanent magnet means without electricity it can also be used same as the concept you can see here once we apply the um, uh, ink powder iron powder then we use the yolks positive and negative then we step by step move here 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 then all the magnetic around the welding field wherever is the leakage or the crack all the pot most of the powder come and collected here then we see okay here is the problem this is the major concept same you can see the crack indication here we have the crack the crack indication automatically fluorescent links are also used for greater sensitivity you don't need to mention or remember this typically sequence what could be the sequence how oh, we have to clean the area okay apply contrast paint already had you apply magnetic components okay ferromagnetic ink we have to apply the ferromagnetic ink interpret the test we see where the ferromagnetic ink are collaborating we have seen then post cleaning and demagnetize means remove the yolks what are the advantages simple to use inexpensive rapid results little this, this, this is no problem not important for the paper surface or light surface defects only important for the paper as I mentioned up to 3 millimeter magnetic material only important for the paper it's good for magnetic material no indication of defect types only suitable for linear defects detection required in two direction okay then comparison if we compare the MPI with the LP as I already explained no, he is asking about more about MPI, uh, sorry, MTI, magnetic testing. Quicker than PT, we don't need to wait for dwell time, it's, that's where it's much quicker. Instant results, immediately, can detect near surface and subsurface. Uh, PT can only defect, detect surface, this is also subsurface. Less surface preparation required, no problem. Disadvantage is only suitable for ferromagnetic, also important point. For ferromagnetic only, non ferromagnetic it's not used. Electro power for most techniques, electro power and as well as uh, without electric power mean permanent magnetized also used. Then we need to demagnetize, we need to disconnect the connections from the specimen. I hope you are enjoying the lecture. Let's come towards the ultrasonic testing. It's known as UT. Okay, uh, ultrasonic testing UT. The main features are it's used for surface and subsurface. In paper point of view, he will ask which method is used for almost unlimited thickness to detect any defect. Then remember this is ultrasonic testing means it can be def detect the defects 50 millimeter thickness, 100 millimeter, 200, 500, some and I, 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 I studied in and uh, related to ultrasonic testing in one one study is that he mentioned up to 25 meter thickness you can def detect the defect no problem because it's related to the magnitude and echo and the frequency so high frequency used for this process so almost unlimited thickness you can easily use this method so a specific probe used probe is to detect uh, I will show you the coming slides probe what is probe actually uh, display relates time taken 
ultrasonic okay 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 no problem you can see here i would like to explain the process this is the ultrasonic screen I'll, i think it's called ctr pulse the pulse are generated here we have the wire that is connected with the probe this is the probe different probes used 45 degree probe 60 degree and i think 70 degree probe also used to check the material thickness to check the defects to check the uh, planar defects in the start i mentioned you the planar defects and the digitally we can set the echo and frequency through this range here you can see we have the probe this is compression probe if the defect here the echo come here then reflect back once it reflect back then a large echo generated where the large echo generated we see okay almost location is this then we calculate the height of this echo then from this height crt display from this height we measure okay up to which depth this defect occurred and how much the length of the defect with the size of echo we calculate the defect type defect width length or dimensions etc okay here you can also see we have angle probe this one is the pipe and he is mentioned checking the any defect ut test same we have also the half skip and full skip technology uh, method with half skip we measure the half side with full skip we measure the completely means both sides up to there you can see here this is directly echo on the uh, on the defect this is half skip sometime this half skip skip the defects then we convert it into full skip then once the echo come here reflect back to the echo reflect back on the um, defect you don't need to worry about it because you are not the NDT inspector you are the welding inspector so just get the overview all the same things i will let you know what is important for paper point of view right the advantages are rapid results both surface and subsurface capable of measuring depth defect unlimited battery powered also use portable disadvantages okay for paper point of view this point is important he will say uh, which method is required the skilled operator so ut required the skilled operator because if you are more skilled then you have ability to detect more uh, defects okay required high operator skill this is important point good surface finish required defect identification couplant use what is couplant Couplant is actually when on the on the on the specimen where we use the echo, we operate the echo from between the echo and the surface of the specimen, we apply the couplant. Couplant is normally used for the lubrication purpose as well as to, to air lock, air tight means there is no air contraction between the echo and the surface of the specimen means without air interaction or interruption then you can get better results so couplant use for this purpose no permanent record by the way only echo uh, shown on the screen but in latest ut instruments permanent record also available uh, ferretic material mostly used for ferretic material you only require trained skill and couplant purpose two points only important this point is also important good for planar defects only and non planar defect rt used remember both points good for thick section i already mentioned instant result use complex giants can automate very portable safety precautions etc okay no permanent record okay this one is also important point ut is not suitable for those jobs which thickness is less than 8 millimeter if he ask um, ut cannot be performed the activities option are less than 10 millimeter less than 14 less than 8 less than 5 so option will be less than 8 millimeter okay and not good for sizing prosty good smooth etc don't need to remember these things 
I hope you got the main points. Only I ask you three to four points which you need to remember and remaining you need to get the concept. That's all. The next one is radiographic testing. That's why I mentioned that you should have to copy and pencil uh, to uh, write down the important points. So for RT, we use X-ray and gamma rays for the radiation purpose. Radiation, okay. This is also good for the thinner areas of the material and less density. As I mentioned before, UT is not good for a thinner area, but RT is good for thinner areas. Okay. If this point is also important, if the area is thinner and density is less, then result on the film will be dark. This is remember if less dense we have less dense suppose copper copper we have less dense or uh, sorry copper we have greater density then it's uh, from it's the result will be lighter on the film okay if any material like aluminium i believe has less density then its result will be darker i hope you got my point applicable to metal non metal ferrous non ferrous etc i will also explain here you can see x-ray we have electrically generated gamma rays i would like to give you the concept how the rt works okay in rt radiographic testing we have source from where the x-ray or gamma ray exit okay these are the radiation beams this is the welding here we install the iqi image quality indicator important point Dun -dun -dun important point image quality indicator in paper he will say which thing are used to uh, make or enhance the sensibility of defect or increase the quality of the defect or increase the quality of the indication on the films this is the radiographic film so iqi iqi image quality indicator remember my dear friends okay so we have test specimen once we apply the source here with the iqi the radiation pass through the welding defects and image on the radiographic films then we develop the films and see is there any defect in this area if any crack or lack of sidewall pion or lack of root penetration etc on the film it directly shown then we interpret this film and we got the concept okay with this specimen suppose this specimen is one two length is 300 millimeter we all calculate these things before applying the system applying the films and iqi we also apply the iqi number then we directly know okay which area we have the defect length width and the location of the defect okay here you can see source radiation beam image quality indicator here you can see image quality indicator come with this impression this is all about iqi density relates to degree of darkness as i already mentioned if you have less density darkness more darkness if you have more density less darkness on the films Contrast related to the degree of difference. Sensitivity related to overall quality of the. This is sensitivity relates to overall quality of the radiograph. As I already mentioned, IQI used for the increase of the sensitivity. Okay, quality of sensitivity. Just remember this point. You can see the IQI, wire type IQI, different kinds of IQI used. You don't need to go in deep. Here you can also see step iqi and strip iqi or wire iqi okay this is important slide my dear friends we have four types of radiographic techniques single wall single image technique you can see here this is the suppose pipe or plate source one side film outside okay source other side film inside this is single wall sing single image if we have single wall single image panorama panorama means all around if in one shot you want to calculate 
uh, you want to see the result then you place all the films at circumference you can see here all the films outside in single shot it rotate and all the image come this is panorama if we have double wall sim single image means walls are double this wall this wall but image is single we use the source here directly come the beams on the giant and here we have the film this is known as double wall it is crossing two walls but single image okay but if it cross two walls and double image then the source will be here the beams cross through the both giants and in one shot all the film will come back you can see here you can see a double wall double image this was if the source crossing both giants in single shot you can see here in single shot you can get the results okay this is the concept of all single wall single image important point is this technique is used for the pipe diameter which are over 100 millimeter very important point in paper he will say um, which technique of radiographic testing used which diameter is 150 millimeter or 200 millimeter then you have to remember double wall single image technique okay dwsi double wall single image technique if he say no the diameter of the pipe is 70 millimeter then which technique is good double wall double image means less than 100 double wall double image because in one uh, shot we ex we extract both giants and all the defects because its diameter is less but if its diameter is more more than 100 millimeter then double wall single image one by one okay i hope you got the point so identification unique identification iqi place etc this you can see here weld number 18 this is iqi number strip number this is zero to five this is the area you do need to go in the depth just remember the things which i am asking you this is a very important point which isotope is used normally mostly you can see here he also mentioned mostly used iridium 195 isotope used and its range is 10 to 50 millimeter thickness if plate or pipe have 10 to 50 millimeter thickness then iridium 192 used and this is the most usable isotope in the world this is very important point you have to remember it's good for the paper point of view and if the thickness is greater than 50 millimeter cobalt 60 used if the thickness is less than 10 millimeter then all these isotopes used okay you don't need to remember everything but only cobalt greater than 50 and 10 to 50 iridium mostly used this is normally in the paper he say uh, which isotope is used mostly used simply iridium 192 advantages are permanent record little surface preparation defect identification no material type limitation so okay but the disadvantages in the disadvantages this point is very important my dear friends he will ask uh, due to radiation or rt what could be the disadvantages harmful radiation this these are the harmful radiation means not good for the human body but in option he will say you harmful radiation or it can also say harmful radiation and burn the skin that that option will be okay means due to rt rt can burn your skin and it's also not good for human body so harmful radiation not good for human body burn the skin these are all the option for the rt disadvantages he will ask you in the paper and also other disadvantages is both side access you need means inside outside both sides you need but in uh, ut you need only one sided access again this is also very important point uh, rt is used for non planar defects good thin thin section that was not good for thin section ut was less than eight we cannot use the ut so for rt we can use it permanent record because film has permanent records easier for second party interpretation etc high frequency no need to worry about it and uh, health and safety hazard again harmful for the body not good for thick sections very thick section we cannot perform very thick section we used 
UT, not good for planar defects, etc. These are all the things which I already explained to you. I hope you enjoy the lecture. If you have enjoyed, then please subscribe my channel and also hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. It may be useful for those because I only give the specific and important information which are related to C 3.1. If you need any support from myself, then you are free to comment in the comment box and contact with me. I am available for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.